everybody welcome back um today <coughs> i thought i would share with you um just some other ideas i've had for little embellishments i've got a journal i'm working on that these are going to be going into and i thought oh I'll, I'll go ahead and turn the uh, camera on and and share with you guys how to make these they're super super simple but they are um really really cute um so let's get started <clears throat> Please excuse me for my croaky vo uh, throat again. I'm still trying to get over this cold, and it's just hanging on. Um, so what I found when I do my printouts with the digital embellishments, I get, <clears throat> this is a sheet, um, I get a lot of these off cuts, and some of them can be pretty big. This one's not going to be a lot of waste, but some of them, as you guys know, you can have a pretty pretty big amount of paper that's just scrap. And I got fed up with cutting out shapes, and I thought, well, what can I do? So what I started doing is piling them into a little basket and then deal with them. You know, I, I tried to devote maybe a day for just cutting out tags and then a day for what, what we're going to do today. So, um, what I do with these, I think I'm working, my paper is about, <clears throat> it's pretty sturdy cardstock. It's not the really lightweight, but what I like, I like these to be really sturdy. Um, I've been doubling them up. So today I thought, well, I'm just going to do a heart-shaped one just for something different, but I will show you guys on that as well. So I just put two layers of it together, ran it through the big shot, and you can just decide whatever shape you want. You can just stick with the square or whatever. And <clears throat> I've got my leftover. Every time I do um, off-cuts, I just anything that's left over I throw in here and I end up with little pieces of um, sheet music and it's all vintage sheet music so you don't want to throw it out so I just um, keep hoarding this until it, it's heaving and then I think well I gotta do something <coughs> so here we are I'm just going to um, first just glue these two layers together and I hope my glue is gonna work today Oh gosh, sometimes um, I ended up having to thin that out the other day, and of course it went everywhere because I had added too much water to it. But these glues, oh, they do your head in. Because as time goes on, and I, I guess it's when the lid's off of it, it the water's evaporating from it, and it just gets thicker and thicker. And oh, I hate it because you're sitting there trying to get that last little bit out. So I've glued those two layers of cardstock together, and you don't have to do this. If you're happy with it with one layer, that's totally just a preference of mine. And I'm just going to um, <clears throat> take some of the music sheet and just, there's no, you know, set way of doing this. I just stick it on there however I think looks nice. If there's, I'm going to save that piano just because I think that's kind of pretty. Although it, it probably end up covered up. But So try to get it all glued down. Really, a glue stick would be better for this project, but I've run out, and I forgot yesterday when I was at the store that I had run out. So the next thing <clears throat> you're going to want to do is just get a little bit of gesso, and this is where it can get a little bit messy. I'm going to try my best not to get too sloppy today. Um, I'm just going to take a little brush. I'm not going to do too much of it, but just very, very lightly. Well, there again, if you like heavy gesso, go for it. Um, I'm just going to lightly put that over it. Okay, so we're going to set that to the side, let that dry. 
and I will be right back. Okay guys, I thought while that's drying I ought to just <coughs> go ahead and make another one. This one I'm going to make a little bit longer. I don't know why. I'm just trying to use up my scraps and um, it's nice to just have some different sized little things in our journals for interest. I don't even know if I showed you guys up close. Sorry, I'm kind of in a fog still. That's how those have come out. <coughs> and you could use really any of your images. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and cover this while this little heart one's drying. better side to it, so I'll use that. Okay, that one's done. I'm just going to put a little bit of gesso on that and then we can start working on the heart one. you can do and <clears throat> you're just playing around with it. You might not need to do this but it's nice to experiment with doing. I've got a script stamp and I'm going to do a little bit of stamping over that and I pulled the wrong ink out. We're going to use the crumb cake which is a really soft brown I'm going to stamp that off first because if you don't, it's going to come out really dark and that's not really what I want. So now you can see. It's just a nice, a little more texture to that background. And while I've got it, I may as well go ahead and ink these edges up. And you can do as much or as little inking around there as you want. Okay, that one is pretty dry as well, so I'm going to put a little, just a little bit of the script on this one. Make sure I get that the right way. So there you can see, it just adds a little bit more interest to the background. <coughs> ah. Let me do the edges on this one as well. Oh yeah, I like how those have come out. Okay, let me find some... Let me dig around in my little stash. Because I have a sheet... And this is from, uh, sorry about that guys, this is from Seneca Pond Craft. And these little images were just perfect, perfect size. So I cut those out and I may still end up using those. But I thought I'd just have a quick look and see if there's anything else in here. <coughs> this is uh, my little binder where I shove everything. that I've got left over. 
or have printed out and have, just haven't gotten around to using. Oh, I might. I'm going to pull these out because I might add those. I might do some fussy cutting, so I'll pull those. I'll hold on to those as well. I probably won't use them, but. <coughs> okay, let's see what we got here. See, that would be pretty with those tickets. I think I'm going to do that for the long one. I think that would be really, really pretty. Just going to cut these two kit. Uh, tickets down. <coughs> Gosh, I'm sorry I'm making so much noise here. use my scoreboard but it's not handy at the moment so I'm just gonna cut that up. I'm just gonna show you guys this is what I've started doing on these tickets. Um, let me grab my punch. I find it so fiddly trying to cut out all these little little indentions so I've started scoring it first and then I just take a round punch which if this is a one inch if you've got a smaller one it's going to look even nicer and I've just been taking that very edge off so that you get all that white and then here do the same thing and it's just a little bit quicker <coughs> than trying to fussy cut that and um, I think it looks nice. I'll get those last two corners there. Just distress that a little bit. <coughs> Gosh, I really hope this isn't going to sound terrible. Like I said, my voice is just... I'm really hoping that by the end of today I'm over this. I think the reason it's come on so hard is I've been um, I've been on an extreme fast for the last three weeks <coughs> for health reasons, and um, we're only taking in 800 calories a day. And I don't know if you guys, it's been a I'm pretty good with calorie counting, but <clears throat> I kind of lost track of what I was actually taking in. And I'm telling you, 800 calories is basically an apple and a bit of water. It's not much more, but um, I think that's probably why I'm just a little bit run down. Okay, so... I've got some cheesecloth. I really want that on there, so I know this isn't the right glue. And I still am going to do an hour tie. So just to get that in place, I'm going to put that down. <clears throat> but now I better switch over to some quality glue here. i got a little bit left in this, because otherwise that I don't think that would stay intact. And I think I'm going to run this one through the machine just for a bit more texture, but you know I've got to let this stuff sit because it uh, it broke it, it messed up one of my needles one time. So <clears throat> do as I say, not as I do. You guys know that saying. Believe me, I if if I tell you something is a tip, it's because I learned the hard way. <laughs> Okay, so, <clears throat> that's what it's looking like at the moment, but I still feel like we're going to have a bit more, and I hope. Now, this will be a, 
a tester because I've not run my machine with that thick before, but we're going to try it. So I'm going to set that to the side and I'll come back to that. Now, back to our little heart. I think, let me, punch, let me get one of these cut out. And I don't, well, I'll tell you what, let me first decide what I'm going to put here. <clears throat> this is my little sheet, and that's quite small, so I'm almost thinking. That might, that might be, I don't think I could fit all that image in there. Maybe her. Yeah, let me try that one. If it doesn't work, I will. Uh... And <clears throat> you're probably thinking, well, that's a waste of all that image, but it's not. I'm going to use this. Uh, whatever I have left over, I will use um, somewhere else. That's not the right scissors. Sorry, guys, I've got, I got these. I like these when I try to fussy cut. They seem to work better. These are Stampin' Up! I've had these for years, <clears throat> and they're really good for the fussy cutting. And don't worry too much because you can always come back and distress that even more. I'm just going to ink those edges a little bit. I hope this isn't going to be too big for that. Because if I put her like that, and then I'm kind of thinking... this one. <clears throat> yeah, I kind of like that. I think that'll be pretty. But before I do that, I think I'm going to put a little bit of string. So, let me grab... Grab some of my thread here. I hope I've left myself enough. Probably not. No. <laughs> ah, live TV. <clears throat> yeah, this is going to be fiddly. I tell you what I think I'll do. Instead, I'll do it this way. more there. Okay, I think I think it's gonna work. I hope it will. Just gonna tie that off up here. Actually tie it on a knot. <clears throat> Gosh I am so sorry guys. I should really shouldn't be trying to do these tutorials when I all this coffin, it's not nice to listen to. I wish we could have music, but um, the copyrights, oh goodness, YouTube will get on to you over all that. So that's uh, taking that out. All right, so, anyways, where am I now? So we've got that. I think she's going to need a little bit of. I'm going to take just a little piece of this dimensional tape just to give her a little bit of height. <clears throat> I don't know, should I? Yeah, I think I will, because I kind of want it over this um, this little bow. I don't want that completely showing. But I still want to know that that's a heart back there. <coughs> so I'm just going to distress that a little bit. Just put a little bit of glue on this. Punch 
a little hole up here. Just going to do a tiny one so we can put our little thing through. And sorry, all this fumbling around. Um, let's see if I can put. I think I may have tried this before, and I'm not sure these. I like sometimes to put these pearls on. I can't remember if they'll work. Oh yeah, it does. Good, 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 good. And then you could you could even put a little bit of lace behind that if you want. But <coughs> so there you go. That's how it's come out. Okay, I'm going to pause this, guys. I'm going to do the machine stitch on this, and I'll be Okay, guys, um, I ran that through the machine, so there's a close-up. You can see I stitched around the tickets, and then I came back around the edges. And then I decided... I just took some scrap uh, scrapbook paper that I had left over. I've just made a little banner out of that, punched a hole, did some distressing, and then I cut out this tiny uh, heart. <clears throat> so I thought I thought that might be kind of cute, but I'm going to stamp on this. Um, I've got a tiny stamp here, and I'm hoping that that'll show up nice. And it says, the time of our lives. <clears throat> okay, so now we need to punch. Let's see. Yeah, I'll have it on this side. And let me put a little eyelet in this one. You don't have to put these, um, oh, I'll have to have a larger hole, sorry. But it does finish them off a little bit nicer, I think, if you do. Okay, so we've got that, got our little thing. Um, actually, this one I'm just going to tie with twine, I'm not going to use one of the bulb pins this time. It's just something like I said, um, I really noticed, because I'm doing so much printing lately, that some of the designs that I've used had a lot of waste on the, um, cardstock. And I thought, well, gosh, you know, this is a shame and the problem with it is that you've got some of the writing still left on so that's why I come up with this idea because I thought well you can cover that writing either with some you know music sheet or by doubling it up you can do that as well um, <clears throat> I don't know just something I'm sure somebody else has thought of this but uh, it's just something I thought well I'll go ahead and do a little tutorial because I'm terrible about when I'm creating not um, not turning my camera on and I really must and like I told you guys once I get my space where I've got more room to work I'm really find it difficult 
independent to be able to do anything in this small space. So hopefully I'm going to get that resolved soon. Maybe, I don't know. Still working on my website, um, which by the way, if you guys would, I'm going to put the link below. I'm moving, transitioning from Etsy over. I still have some things in my Etsy shop. So um, I've done a really big um, price reduction. So if you guys want to have a look there, I've marked that stuff down because it will not be moving over to the new shop. So, <clears throat> but I'm going to put my new, I'll put my Etsy shop link below and my new website. So if you guys want to take a look um, at the website, I'd really appreciate it. And I'd appreciate it if you'd take the time to subscribe to it as well. Um, okay, so back to what we've done today. This is the two that we've created. Just little, I don't know, kind of little dangle things that you could put in your journals. And then these are the two I did the other day. And they were done the same way. The only difference, you're probably seeing a little bit of pink. Um, I did take some uh, pink ink. Uh, the blush, in fact it's the Stampin' Up! blush and that's what gave that that really soft in the background, which is beautiful. I'm really, really happy with how those came out as well. So there you go. There's a few more ideas, guys. And I thought I was going to use these, but <coughs> changed my mind. That's how I work sometimes. I think I've got a plan, and then I get here and think, oh, actually, no. <laughs> But it's just something a little bit different that hopefully you can use up some of your scrap um, cardstock on. And I appreciate you guys stopping by. Thank you so much for uh, tolerating my voice. I do apologize again for it. Um, you guys have a great week, and I'll be back very soon. I've got some new journals I'm working on. I'm hoping to have those later in the week to show you guys. So take care, and I'll see you here very soon. Bye.